and with uh, Teresa Novotna. Novotova. Novotova, sorry. Yeah. No, it's a difficult name, it's yeah. okay. Um, tell us about uh, your film, how the idea was born. <laughs> well, the idea was born first uh, with Barbara, uh, the screenwriter I wrote this movie with. She came with the, she brought this book, which was anthropological study of how people in uh, contemporary Slovakia still believe in witches and magic and everything. We were quite surprised that it's still happening. And then on the other hand, the idea came from the place because we have this cabin in the woods in Slovakia that my dad bought when he was young and it's like no electricity, no water, there is wolves and bears and and I used to spend there a lot of time when I was small and then uh, I started to look for who lived there before in this cabin because it's 100 years old and I found that there was this woman, Otila, who lived there and she was walking barefoot and she was there alone and villagers thought that she's just crazy because she didn't want to have talk with them or anything and then they took her and they basically uh, un they took her to psychiatry hospital against her will and yes which is horrible and then so we started to connect all these things which is like coming from the myths and and kind of folk tales from Slovakia and traditions and connected with how today in society we are looking at women and what is the uh, is my second question uh, for about uh, uh, back to ancient prejudice uh, to denounce the modern misogyny yes. in Slovakia but also but in everywhere Italy. yeah it's everywhere it is like yeah, it might feel like that's backwards, that doesn't exist anymore, but it's not true and it's really, if you go to villages or anywhere, you kind of see that what is expected of women is like, be home, take care of children, take care of household, and if you want to do anything else, it's wrong, you know? And, and, and it, it is not just my idea, there is statistics for it and that is basically putting women into second position you know and uh, and that is just one step to violence or abuse because if you look at uh, numbers um, one in three Slovak women are sexually or physically abused so it is quite a lot also in Italy yes yeah also in ta in whole Europe so but I didn't just want to show like how the situation is bad but I wanted to show I wanted to make a movie about freedom like about how is how to find freedom in myself how, or how to accept who I am and what I want if it's something else than the society want from me and then when I finally accept it and I'm like okay this is me then I come to the people and they are like, no, no, you cannot be like this, and, you know? And then it's about how to find this freedom in the society because it's really hard. Yeah. Um, one little curiosity about animals. Animals. Yeah. Uh, is uh, computer graphic or is real? Oh, the animals yeah. in the film? Yeah. All real. Oh. They're all real. Uh, and, but I have to say there is one shot where they are murdering the goose that we didn't kill her, that was fake. We had this like blood in the knife to show The uh, little girl with the snake is uh, That's all real. Yeah. That's all real. And the little girl, she loves snakes. So of course. <laughs> she was like, yeah, can I get these snakes? And it's, it's true, I, when I was doing casting, I brought the snake to a casting office and I, all these girls I had, these small girls, I was like giving them the snake if they are afraid or not to see. And this one was like, I love it. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Children for that is really relaxed. Yeah, point. yeah, yeah. She's really nice. Then, uh, one uh, last question. Um, your parents work in cinema. Mm -hmm. How much it influenced your choice? Hmm. 
My parents work more in theater. Yeah, of course, but they are. Yeah, but they did also cinema and movies. And but growing up in theater, I think that really influenced me because I feel like I grew up surrounded with stories and characters, and my parents constantly talking about it and arguing about it, and so it's such a natural language for me to tell stories that I didn't have to think much but when I was 18 and I was deciding what to do it was not like I want to be film director I was they push you or no no no, not at all but I decided to go for documentary filmmaking first and I did documentary for a few years and I made two two feature documentaries for HBO and then uh, then I decided to go for masters uh, in my film school for fiction, mm-hmm. and that's when I shot my first feature as my uh, 20, thesis movie. Twenty rule. Uh, Twenty seventeen. Oh, okay. It's called Filthy. So yeah, and that's when I, that's when I started to do fiction because I realized I love to do it, but I first had to try it. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Teresa. Thank and, you. Uh, Uh, now you now we go to see sir, night sirens or night siren yeah but yeah. in uh, in slovak yeah. svetlonoc okay thank you very much thank you